and welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja and today we're going to show you how to make ghee. It's such an essential part of any, especially Indian households, <laughs> you know, because it's got this wonderful flavor. It's used a lot for different uh, things, for food, for religious functions, for many things. Yeah, yeah. so it's such a simple recipe. It's so easy to make at home and there's nothing like homemade ghee. So let's get started. Right. We have here one pound of unsalted butter and it's important to use unsalted butter yeah. otherwise you get a lot of foaming issues later on. We've tried it so, we, so don't try it. But anyway we have a pan which has a heavy bottom which is mm -hmm. also a very important step. Heavy bottom pan, unsalted butter and we're going to melt this butter on medium flame and let it come to a boil first. So the ghee is now starting to come to a boil. It's great. It's starting to froth a little on the top and that is perfect. You want that. Right. And so we're going to turn down the stove just a little bit mm -hmm. to a low and it's going to keep simmering um, while it's boiling and uh, a lot of foam and, and the milk solids will separate from the ghee and that's fine. You need to be sure that you keep stirring it. So you need to make sure that the milk solids don't burn at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our ghee's been cooking for about 15 minutes and if you notice, if you pull the little foam that's on the top off, there's a nice deep brown coating at the bottom and that's perfect. You don't want it to burn. Yes. A nice dark color gives you a rich nutty flavor to the ghee, but that's it. So we will turn it off now. And of course ghee is called clarified butter because the milk is kind of clarified off the top. So, <laughs> so if you pull it, yes. I mean, that, that's it. It's very clean and uh, awesome. It smells great. So one of the benefits of ghee is, you know, like a lot of times if you're cooking with butter and you start cooking with it, it'll burn. So you really cannot cook. So with ghee, the smoking point is a lot higher. So you're able to use that in cooking and, you know, put it in like saute with it and not have it burnt. So it's basically the particles, the milk particles in the butter that burn a lot faster than the ghee. So basically in the ghee, that all that is removed. So it's perfect for sauteing, for adding on to things. Perfect, you know, and it's got a fantastic it aroma. It's so yummy. So we just turned off the stove and the ghee is still really hot. Mm -hmm. And there's usually a lot of foam that's on the top and it's a little difficult to remove that. So here's a quick tip. I know it sounds weird, but we have just regular water here. We're going to take just about a tablespoon of water or so and, and step back when you do this, but just pour it in and it works magic. All the foam just disappears. But it's really hot right now, so we're going to let it cool down for at least 20 to 30 minutes mm -hmm. where we can handle it yes. and uh, then we'll come back and show you how to strain it. So once the ghee has cooled down a little bit uh, and it's easier to handle, we've got a little strainer over here, actually two strainers just to make sure we don't miss anything and we're just going to strain it into a clear bowl. Now this is just to show you, we're going to, if, but if you're going to do it for yourself, you want to put it in a, a glass jar, make sure it's dry and just put it in that and store it in that. All right, we're not going to scrape the bottom because we don't need that. Otherwise, we'll be back to the butter again. <laughs> so this is it. And uh, use it for your chapatis. Use it for the kids' food. Biryani. Biryani. Oh, yeah. Some things you just have to have yeah. ghee. Rotis. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. And look at the color. It's so beautiful. It's got this really nice, deep golden color. Right. And uh, you'll definitely not think it's butter. You know, it's, it's made from butter, but it tastes nothing like butter. So. Right. So no replacement. It's not a replacement for your butter. And also you can store it outside. It doesn't need to be refrigerated. It can be kept out for about a month or so. But, you know, if, if you have space in your fridge, you can always keep it there. It's absolutely fine. You know, when butter is on sale, I, I make a big batch of ghee. Keep what you need out and put the rest in the refrigerator. It stays good for months. <laughs> Very good idea. <laughs> so enjoy your ghee and join us on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.